Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a Spanish of Newts and their care guide. In today's video we'll be talking about feeding, housing, cleaning and breeding. And most importantly, probably temperature. You might be wondering why I haven't uploaded recently and it's because I've been having to catch up with homeschooling, uh, well home learning and to make up for the way i'm getting a fire salamander i'm not just buying it to like make it up to you guys i'm buying it because i've been wanting a fire salamander for ages i'm gonna set it up in a 10 gallon because it's only a juvenile then move it probably up to a 20 gallon so yeah so let's get right into it the first thing we'll talk about is feeding you should feed your spanish new two to three times a week on earthworms newt pellets fish pellets which i don't recommend as they're not very nutritional or bloodworms the second thing we'll be talking about is temperature probably the most important thing the temperature should be around 50 to 68 degrees fahrenheit if you're in america or canada or australia or if you're in the UK like me, 10 to 22 degrees Celsius. I currently have two newts in here that are just doing fine at this temperature. So yeah, I would recommend that temperature. Next thing we'll be talking about is cleaning. If you have two newts like me, the cleaning should be every two weeks as they're the double, they produce the double amount of waste. If you only have one, it can be only eh, every four weeks maybe three and remember to use vivarium cleaner special vivarium cleaner and not disinfectants like dental and bleach next on the care guide is breeding i wasn't actually looking to breed my spanish rib newts i used to think they were both females but they're actually, one's a male and one's a female. You can't really see the male, but yeah, he's back there. His name's Charmander. I'm just filming Sam here. Um, yeah, they produce eggs. All you, people say you have to make the water cool and warm, but you don't really have to. You just have to put them in together and they just start breeding. And then there's eggs. And these are a very good breeding couple. They're all Most of the eggs are all fertile. Um, but yeah, I just don't have the means to look after the eggs, so I have to humanely euthanise them. So yeah, that was just basically a care guide on the Spanish of Newton. And when I get the fire salamander, I'll do an unboxing video and a care guide on the fire salamander. Okay guys, if you like this video, please like, and if you have any um, questions about the Spanish of Newt that I did not answer in this video, please leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Okay, bye.